We just finished testing, which means summer vacation. Yep. Summer vacation. You are now a sixth grader. Next level. to drive to a car shop no idea how to get there I'm gonna be following my directions and then my husband's gonna drop his jeep off and we're all heading back we've got a really busy day so we gotta get going We just finished testing, which means summer vacation. Yep. Summer vacation. You are now a sixth grader. How do you feel? I feel great. No more school work for like for like four months. All right, come here for a thumbnail. You gonna be in it? Okay. I don't know what we'll use. Whatever fits. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice because I just ate. And the pollen is out of control here. So I try not to clear my throat too much because it's annoying. But yeah, it is messy. I'm stepping on all the things. I even just picked up a couple things. But it is quite time. It is pretty late actually. I think it's almost 3.30. But we finished the school year. Ah, we also got the Jeep brought to the, I don't know, a shop, car shop. They're gonna do any final adjustments, I think. Maybe some specific things that my husband wanted that he didn't wanna do himself. But it should be the final steps he needs done to get it ready for the beach. And when we got back from doing that, it was 11.30 and we had just enough time to finish out the standardized testing by 1 p.m. because we had to pick up school lunch by 1.30. We got there 
like eight minutes to spare, so it's perfect. Mac and cheese day, which makes him happy. Then we headed straight to the library because Jack's had two books that were due. So we <clears throat> dropped those off and got more books for Sebastian and a few for Jack's. We're getting blown across the universe every time we went from the car to a building. But after that, I had offered, well, I didn't, yeah, I offered to go to the grocery store and get some fresh meat for my husband and Sebastian because I really want to make some tofu fried rice tonight, craving it. But then they need a protein because, I mean, Sebastian would eat it, but my husband prefers not to eat tons of tofu. He'd rather have meat. So I sent pictures of the whole meat department. My phone is full of pictures of raw meat and he chose a New York strip steak, sweet potatoes and fresh broccoli. So I grabbed all those things as well as some snap peas to put in my fried rice. We got them for quite a good price because they're best by tomorrow, but and it's a big family pack, but we can house some sugar snap peas. We love them. We should probably only go a day past that and they looked pretty good. Uh, did we get anything else? Oh, I got myself a slice of lemon meringue pie. I love lemon meringue pie. And I think that's it. Yeah, I was holding everything just in my hands. I didn't want to get a basket. And we didn't bring, I didn't think to bring the stroller in because we weren't going on a walk. It is so windy. The winds are pretty much sustained at 30 miles per hour. And I keep hearing bigger gusts and the whole house shakes. But... We are gonna do quiet time. I do have some work files I need to look over, as I said before, I told him probably tomorrow. And then when I emailed him that, he said, okay, and I have three labels coming your way soon. So he's probably gonna try to make use of me as much as possible before my trip. Though I did say I can do an hour or so of work her day while on the trip if it doesn't matter if it's late at night but not on the travel days because I don't like looking at my computer while we're in the car so I don't think I'm gonna get on my computer today but tomorrow I should <clears throat> tomorrow the kids have take your kids to work day with my husband but it's apparently something he's got to do on his work computer he's got to install some sort of an app they sent some t-shirts and stickers I don't know it's not the same as when Jack's got to go when Sebastian was a baby. He got a t-shirt and like a little bag with cool sunglasses that Sebastian still wears. They're white and they turn yellow in the sun. And he got to go to all these different computer classes and stuff. But COVID, what can you do? So they'll be doing that tomorrow. I need to go <coughs> over Jack's test, bubbling in the bubbles darker, making sure there aren't smears or anything out of the lines. And I have to fill in all the personal info in the back and the forms for grading and get it all sealed up because Friday we will go to our post office box and have that shipped out. Oh, I always take pictures of every sheet side of the answer sheet so that if it gets lost in the mail, we don't have to retake it, that we can just bubble them back in because it'll be the same test. So, yeah, big overview of my the rest of my week. Since we'll be over in that area for the mail store, we'll also go to the dollar store because I want to see if they have really small sizes of certain like cleaning products, soaps and like dish soap to bring to the beach house because they give you some starter stuff. But I did have a problem this past year where like one of the houses had literally nothing and I've, I've never brought dishwasher or sink soap, like the dish soap for the sink or the washer. <clears throat> it's always been like they've given us a starter pack and that's always been enough for us, but there was literally none from this one rental company. And like, <laughs> there wasn't hand soap bars. It was like nothing. I always bring toilet paper, even though they give you a starter roll, just cause I'm a sensitive little flower. I need my nice toilet paper. <laughs> but yeah, so. Even though this one says they do give you a starter, I'm gonna bring some 
some tablets for the machine and I think I'm gonna try to <clears throat> bring a small amount of liquid soap. I'll bring hand soap pumps just because they're easier than the bars. More likely for the kids to use them and sanitizer and stuff. So I'll see what they have in terms of smaller size things that'll be good for a week. Yep, that's my update. I'm going to try to brush this. I left the house with it loose. Very bad idea. I at least had rubber bands, hair bands on my wrist, but I braided this up while it already had tangles from the wind. So I'm gonna undo it and it's gonna be so tangly. It looks nice, but yeah, this is a mess of tangles. Like look, it's sticking straight up like straw because it is so tangly right now. So I'm gonna go deal with that and take the hat, take my boots off, get slippers on. I'm not going anywhere. I will do a jog tonight though. We were hustling so much that green circle's almost full. It's still set really low at 15 minutes of exercise a day because the weather still gets so cold. But yeah, gonna start the rest of our day. And what is he watching? Total row. <laughs> Cat bus is coming. Mm -hmm. What did you get? A lot. What did it Time. If I blink a lot or look rough, it's because our pollen count went through the roof today. There was a news story just a little bit ago about how insane it spiked. And then there were 30 mile per hour winds just blowing it in your face. But apparently a cold front is coming in to hopefully lower it down. I don't know. I, I don't want it to be cold though either. I just want the great pollening to be over with. So yeah, I might be washing my face earlier than usual today because it feels like sand has been in my eyes since the moment I woke up. <sighs> okay, anyway, I spoke to you at quiet time. We started our quiet time and then like a half an hour later, my husband's like, so my Jeep's ready. We can get go anytime before 6.30, they close then. I'm like. I've got to go back <laughs> to the same day. I mean, obviously I knew I had to go back, but I didn't realize it was going to be just a couple hour thing, just a day thing. <laughs> uh, and it was only going to get worse because it was 4.30 and it's like rush hour in the DC area. Luckily, it's a pandemic. I'm like, well, okay, well, finished quiet time. So, my husband drove us back, and then I drove my car home. He tried to tell me how to go a certain way out of 
the car shops parking lot. It's an industrial area, a maze, and there's just trucks and cars parked everywhere along the roads, like huge trucks. You can't see around them. Leap of faith to pull out of the parking lot. And then you're just going through this maze of other parking lots. And my navigation wanted to take me a different way. I knew once I got to the big road, I could ignore it long enough for it to reroute to the route I wanted because that one wasn't an option when I started the navigation. And of course, I could not follow his, just go left and left and then this way and then onto the street. I couldn't find any of those street signs. Couldn't even find turns. There were just cars parked everywhere. Ended up the wrong way on the road, just like he told me this. They're so obnoxious. Just like he told me my navigation would do, so. I went with it. I'm used to getting lost and making wrong turns. I get lost every time and sometimes the anxiety is out of control because of it, but sometimes I'm just like, I'm so used to it. I just got into the left lane and made a U-turn and was off in the correct direction. No other problems except for a lot of traffic. Hey friends, you're, you're awful loud. You're right next to each other. Why is there a toy on the floor already? We just cleaned up a million rooms as usual. Maybe I can actually vacuum tomorrow. It's so hairy and he's had toys on the floor of the playroom and I couldn't vacuum it. But we told him, today's the cutoff. Gotta pick him up by bedtime. So he did, no complaints. It's not like he even played with it all the time that he had his little monster truck road that he built out. He just refused to put it away. Why are you so loud? Anyway, we went on that little adventure. Got home, my husband got home after us because he stopped at his favorite brewery to get some cans of beer. And then we started dinner. So I made the tofu fried rice I wanted. Jackson and I love that. And my husband made the steak and sweet potato and broccoli I picked up for him. If you guys can't be quiet, it's done. It's bedtime. Stop playing. I don't mean to sound mean. I mean, I love that they play together, but they only play together when it's like 9.45 p.m. Never during the day. Jax, play with me. No, dude, I'm busy. But when it's like almost 10 o'clock, they're like shrieking, hysterical, throwing things across the room. And that's just not okay. It's time for them to read and quietly wind down so he falls asleep before 10. Yeah, so we ate dinner and I did a little bit of crafting, nothing too exciting. I was just starting to sand, paint, and glue together some of that outdoor furniture for the little shop. There's a magazine stand and a bench. I started painting a stool that goes just inside that window area and a sandwich board. I got closest to done on the magazine stand. Instead of painting that one, I mostly did that grainy paper on the outside and the, the base of the inside. I didn't want to waste the tiny little bit I have left doing all the interior sides because it does look like the magazines are gonna cover that up. So I just quickly painted it a little bit so the weird yellow color it was didn't show, but if it looks like they're really, it's gonna show, I'll use some of it, maybe. I don't know. They're still so obnoxious. <laughs> so I did that until like 8.30 and then came up to just like start getting things ready up here, have a little me time when they're not up here bugging me, but I like instantly get this message from Jax. My Minecraft won't start up on my Switch. It's just a black screen. Can you please stop? Can you laugh any quieter though, man? Seriously. Which book? Can you chill? I love that you're so happy, but maybe it's not maybe it's not a bedtime book if it makes you this crazy. He's definitely like laughing genuinely, but then he just makes himself keep laughing. 
as long as he goes to sleep. He's just getting so wound up. He's gonna come in here and dive on the bed and start jumping up and down because he's all like, oh, I'm getting up. But yeah, his Jax's Minecraft will not load on a Switch. I logged myself into his Switch and it loads on under my profile, obviously with nothing there. I don't use it. But it appears his profile is corrupt. It has been backed up, including today. I don't know if that backup is corrupt, but I don't know how to use that backup. Everything I search online says we need to delete his profile, his 150 hours in multiple worlds built with friends. All going bye-bye, but what, what is this save, cloud save data that Minecraft is doing? Can we use this somehow to Put everything back in or is that just for transferring to a new system is that corrupt i don't know what to do every time i search for the save data i can't find anything but yeah now i'm like instantly stressed out and i didn't want to go to bed stressed out like i feel very very stressed so stressed that like my glasses are dirty and i could not even cope or function or talk to anybody until i spent 10 minutes cleaning them they're still grungy, but I can at least see again without everything being blurry. I think half of it is my eyes are just blurry from pollen. So I'm extra sensitive to my glasses being dirty. I feel like I'm always cranky right now, but we really need our vacation. I don't need this. I don't need this right now. And at least he seems to be like, coming to terms with the fact that we might delete it. It's like, I'll walk into the room and he's like talking to his brother saying, all my worlds are going bye bye, but not in like a super depressed way. I mean, he's gonna be upset about it, but it's more like a, like he's old enough that he could weather this storm if that's what it comes to. Yeah, that's where I am guys. I have made it up to here, all the way around on my silver braids. I like that the colors are so similar, like there's the new and this is all old. It's very similar, so it's a, a very smooth transition, it's simple. But as I go up, I don't know if I'm going to be doing these ones here because, I mean, we do still have maybe 10 days left and I don't know if I want these to be 10 days old because I have a lot a lot of regrowth going on which is great like I, I had a big round of shedding up in the front area so the fact that all this is growing in is great but I feel like I just had a baby again because this is what you end up with and it just doesn't stay in the braids because it really needs to be two inches to stay in the braid and all of this is about a half inch to one and a half inches so yeah i don't know i could potentially do it and if some of them like this one pops out after just a few days so maybe i will just keep going up and maybe touch them up the day before it's fine it doesn't it takes five minutes to do one braid so maybe i might even bring my my little tools that I use to redo braids with me and can touch up some because my hair is going to get washed a ton because of all the sunscreen and chlorine and ocean air just makes it really cruddy. So, all right, I've been talking too long. <sighs> Tomorrow is take your kids to work day, which I've been calling take your kids to the computer day because they're just going to log on to my husband's work computer and install a special app. <laughs> <laughs> who knows what but yeah so we finished our school year and I moved everything earlier by a week and a couple days just so that they could do this and not have to worry about getting back into school and doing testing afterwards so they will be doing that I don't know how much of their day it will take it's gonna be cold again I think but I think it will get up to 50 I don't know what's going on besides the fact it's Virginia and it's April and it's yeah we alternate between hot pollen and winter in April so we've got that going on I will be wrapping up his testing paperwork 
but yeah, I don't think I have anything planned. I do want to go to Trader Joe's before we go on our trip. I don't know if this is too soon to go and we'll just eat everything we get, but I have to go without the kids because they're not vaccinated and can't go into a store for more than 10 minutes with me. I can mask up, maybe double mask, and go in for half an hour and should be fine because I am completely vaccinated to the full extent that Pfizer allows. <laughs> Still scary, but yeah, they're not vaccinated and my husband re-emphasized, you know what, when you say that you're excited, remember that you can't just throw caution to the wind. Believe me, I'm the last one to throw caution to the wind. So I guess I could potentially go while they are doing what they do, but I feel like it's a little early. I'll have to figure it out. And yeah, I'm just gonna say good night and go back to stressing about that Minecraft situation. So good night, friends. I will see you tomorrow. Please stay safe and do something kind for someone tomorrow, maybe. And don't forget, wash your hands.